All right, this is a video. It's a collaboration video and it is Preserve the Taste of Summer, Canning Collaboration. Now, I am not canning and I did get in touch with Teasers Pleasers uh, channel that fermentation and dehydrating is okay for this challenge. So I'm gonna go ahead. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to make fermented orange juice. Okay, so what you need for that is water, probably uh, between 9 and 12 oranges, depending on the size of your orange. You need a fourth the teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt and a fourth a cup of whey. You also need orange extract, which is in my cupboard up there and I didn't get it out. Anyway, I'm going to get started. I'm going to slice my oranges and I'm going to get back to you when they're all sliced and then we'll start juicing. All right, I'm all set up here. I'm going to uh, start juicing about 10 oranges. If I need more, I'll wash them and I'll cut them. And I did find my uh, orange extract. Okay, so here's what I do. There, I could juice that a bit more. So I'm going to continue on juicing till I come to about this level on my mason jar. Okay, about this much. And when I do so, I will add some water. And then we will take it from there. Alright, when I get about this much in the bowl, I pour it into the mason jar. Just like so. Here we are. There. Let's juice more oranges. Great. All right, so I have more ready to go into the mason jar. Oops. Keep juicing. If it gets stuck um, in the juicer, I just insert a knife, which I've already done because it's already gotten stuck. I just insert a knife in there and it pours out. Anyway, I fixed that a couple of minutes ago. So, let's keep juicing. In all, I cut 14 oranges not 12. So what I'm going to do is I am going to pour my last bowl of orange juice into the mason jar. There we go. If you don't like pulp, this recipe is probably not for you. Uh, there is a lot of pulp in this recipe. So there it is, and here are the oranges. Let's add the other ingredients. So we're going to start with the whey. Now when I've seen this video done online, this recipe, um, the person adds the salt to the whey, 
Uh, you can do that if you want. I'm not going to bother. There goes the way. I ex uh, extracted this way from kefir. All right, because kefir is full of beneficial bacteria and yeast. I'm now going to put in a fourth a teaspoon of pig salt. Sorry about the noises. It's the one-handed method. There, that's not quite a fourth, so I'm gonna get a bit more. down to measure the orange extract. So I'll bring the recipe calls for two teaspoons of orange extract. So I'm going to put that in now. What I'm going to do now is top up the jar with water. Okay, and I'm going to give it a good stir. water is filtered water and it's been sitting on the counter for a couple of days now. All right, so you want to bring it up to about here. Give it a very good stir. And I'll put the water back and I'm just going to get a cap. All right, we're going to, actually that's not the correct cap. <laughs> Let me get the correct cap. So we're going to put this on. We're going to leave this covered for two days on the counter, two days or so. It will be normal to see separation. That's fine. If you want, you can stir it. If you want, you can leave it. But this drink, when fermented, will be full of probiotics. All right. So it is very healthy to drink this. I hope you try it and I hope you enjoy it. This is something I have from time to time. Certainly not all the time, but I do have this from time to time and it's quite delicious. Here's the orange juice. I'm going to leave it on the counter for two days, at which point I will refrigerate it and then we'll give it a taste and I'll bring you back then. During the fermentation process of the fermented orange juice, you're going to see the pulp separate. So typically what I would do is I would come in, give it a stir, and put the lid back on. You know, I might do that once a day. I thought I'd bring you back for tasting the fermented orange juice. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And I said earlier in the video that you would see a separation. That's perfectly okay. All you have to do is stir it. There, so we're going to stir this up. I did put it in the refrigerator. So this should be chilled now. Great. There. So, here it is. That's very nice. It's slightly effervescent and uh, it's delicious. What can I say? This is a really nice summer drink. Sitting on your porch or sitting on your balcony, wherever you live, I would advise you to give this a try because it is rich in probiotics from the fermentation process. In this, as you recall, I used kefir whey. This is just another way <laughs> Another uh, reason to use up your way is to ferment freshly squeezed orange juice. Give it a try. It's delicious. <laughs>